this is this is Dr. Bhavin Dave and I'm a gastroenterologist in Dover, Delaware. And I will attempt to simplify the various settings that are available for the Irby cautery unit. Um, there are basically four different cautery settings uh, that includes setting of I or Q, effect, time, and duration. And a lot of people have difficulty understanding what it really means. Um, let's just start. Uh, my whole intention of the video is not designed to be a substitute to the manufacturer's information or the information that you can get from the CME units. My information may not be exactly accurate, but this is based on my understanding of what the unit really does. Now, when we take a polyp out or use any kind of cautery unit, we are dealing with a situation wherein you use current to have a certain effect like taking a polyp out. Now, there are two ways you can set up a unit. One is just based on a certain amount of watts or current to be delivered, and the other way is by setting up the voltage. The older technology set up the power or current, and it delivered the same amount of current whether it was needed or not. The Irby unit changed, and it delivers a certain amount of voltage. And what it does is that it tries to give the appropriate amount of current based on the tissue resistance. So if there is more tissue resistance, it will decide and deliver more current. If there is less tissue resistance, it will de deliver less current. And that is the beauty of having the Irby unit. Now, now let's move on. There are two different basic settings of the Irby unit. You can use a setting of I or you can use a setting of Q. Now the difference is this, with the setting of I you are delivering 550 volts and with the setting of Q you are delivering 750 volts. What does this really mean? I am going to give an analogy for what this means by giving an example of a base unit, uh, a sound unit base um, and what happens is that there are many different settings in a base. Uh, when you have a base that you can only hear in this room that is like a 550 volt. If you have a base unit that is set up in such a way that it's louder and it, you can hear it in this room and the adjoining room that would be like a Irby setting of Q or 750 volt. So that is one basic fundamental setting. The second setting that you can have is what is known as effect. An effect generally goes from 1 to 5. What does it mean? <clears throat> uh, going back to the same base unit, you can set up the base unit in such a way that you can either hear it or you can hear it and feel it. So that is what the effect does. The effect at a lower setting just gives a cutting current while the same base unit at a higher effect does coagulation. So from 1 to 5, you are increasing the coagulation and decreasing the current, and that's what the effect is. The last setting which you can do on the Irby unit is duration and time. And going back to the base unit, let's say that the base unit delivers a sound like buzz, buzz, buzz. So here, the duration and the interval between the buzz has been set up. But you can set it up in a different way, like it can go buzz, 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 and that is duration and interval. This is, in a nutshell, the difference between the four different settings of the Irby unit. I uh, would recommend that you discuss it with your manufacturer, go to a variety of CME courses, and based on the information that you can get from those courses, you can come up with your own table for standardization for using in most settings. For example, doing a sphincterotomy, polypectomy, if you are going to do ESD, if you are going to take out remnants of a polyp with the avulsion unit, uh, there are different standardized settings available for it. 
Uh, for example, one of the standardized settings for evulsion after removal of polyp and removing the residual part using a hot biopsy forceps would be uh, uh, urbing setting of I, effect 2, duration 1, interval 1. It would be I211. I hope that helps clarify things uh, sufficiently and good luck. Thank you for your time.